The Rim Fire is now burning into its 10th day and dozens of homes have been destroyed. The blaze is not only threatening nearby towns and ancient trees in Yosemite National Park, it's also having a major impact on tourism. Good afternoon, I'm Marianne McClary. And I'm Audrey Assistio. The wildfire scorching land northeast of Groveland in the Stanislaw National Forest in Tuolumne County. Bagat Chaban is there with the latest on the firefight. The monster wildfire that's burning in and around Yosemite National Park is making tourism dollars go up in flames. The fire already torched a popular campsite near the park. For decades, it had been a summer destination for families. Normally, Labor Day weekend is one of the busiest weekends for tourists at Yosemite. And while the wildfires only burned a small area of the park, many campers and visitors are staying away and canceling reservations they made months ago. Usually about 5,000 cars visit Yosemite National Park each day. But on this Labor Day, officials estimate that could be cut in half. What can I get you guys? Just days before the busy Labor Day weekend, restaurant owner Mary Delgado worried the fire would chase away customers. But with nearly 4,000 firefighters battling the nearby blaze, Delgado has seen an 80% spike in business. It's exciting to see a line all the way out the door with fire trucks lined up. It's pretty cool. You've literally run out of food. Oh, yes. Okay. We've run out of food several times. But Delgado knows while she's benefiting feeding an army of firefighters, other business owners who rely on tourists aren't as lucky. The Rim Fire has burned more than 179,000 acres now, but crews are making progress. The fire is now 20% contained. 